All right, welcome back to Real Life Fishing. So, real quick and dirty video for you guys. Uh, apologies about the poor audio, but you'll understand why in a minute. So, you guys see this thing. I've shown it several times and uh, in a lot of the videos, like laying on the deck of the boat and stuff like that. And So, what's what's the story with this? Why why is this thing always laying around? What do I do with it? What's in it? You know, it's a, it's a Yeti dry bag uh, is what it is. You know, I, I covered it in one of the earlier videos um, you know, there's Velcro on the back here, so it attaches to the, the webbing on the outside of some of the Yeti soft-sided coolers, but, uh, it's a dry bag. It's not insulated, um, so it does stay dry, though. Um, this, I leave this thing in the boat, uh, in the rain, all kind of stuff. Um, it, it seals up, uh, quite nicely. Got a little, uh, little kind of nut webbing thing in the back there that, you know, holds paperwork or, or whatever. But, um, yeah, so I, I keep that on the boat. So I figured I'd dump it out and show you guys what's in there. So start with, uh, there's a bunch of fuses. The Ziploc bag isn't to keep them dry, it's to keep them organized. Because they're small and there's a bunch of them, right? Um, but I've got um, uh, regular and um, the uh, micro 3 amp and then 5 amp and some, some 30 amp. Uh, just to cover whatever might happen while I'm out there. Uh, some leaves, some Excedrin, some other stuff uh, mixed in there. I think there's some Advil in one of them maybe, but um, uh, flashlight. Um, this is a uh, Phoenix um, PD35, yeah. Uh, several different brightness settings. Um, you know, you just use this, uh, this button here in the end to adjust the brightness. So that's uh, super helpful when I'm driving at night. Uh, a lot of the lakes up here, people like to leave swim platforms in them. Uh, at least they're nice enough to put reflectors on them, but when it's, uh, when it's dark enough out, you don't want to hit those things. So um, if I'm heading back to the dock at night or something, I'll occasionally shine that out, make sure there's nothing in my way. Uh, some flash or some batteries for the flashlight, uh, card carrier for uh, SD cards, um, spare knobs for my helixes. Uh, it is, a, let me tell you, it is a bad day when you drop one of these things in the lake. Uh, I promise you that. Um, over here, we've got the um, the Altera touchscreen remote, as well as the charger for that. And then I've got um, just another USB charger here. It's got a couple different ends, right? I've got a, a USB-C and a, I think it's a, what, a micro USB um, for charging different stuff. And then... Um, I've got washers and nuts for prop, as well as a spare pin. Uh, very important. If you've got to change a prop on the water and you drop any of that stuff in the lake, it's going to be a bad day. Um, I've got that TH Marine, uh, uh, I forget what they call it, whatever, but it's, it goes up on the, goes up on here, um, right? So you can take this apart without needing any tools. Uh, is the idea that's why i put it on there uh, which is nice but you know if i do drop it in the lake then i need to have a nut and a bolt to put the the new prop on or, or put the original back on after i take off fishing line or whatever was wrapped around it right so very important and um new pin uh coincidentally that uh the pin that's on the shaft here um it goes across roughly across the blades right so when you when you go to pull the prop off you want the blades to be like this. If you've got the blades like this, it's going to be a bad day. That pin's going to fall right out of the armature shaft and go in the lake. So take it off like this. Um, <clears throat> and then the last thing that's on here and the reason for the poor, or in here, and the reason for the poor audio is uh, I've got a, a little eighth inch or, or was that three and a half millimeter um, lavalier mic uh, with a dead cat on it. Uh, and this is what I use for recording audio uh, from my phone. So the reason we've got bad audio right now is I wanted to show you guys this that normally lives in that Yeti bag as well in case I need to use it on the boat for anything recording intros or something like that. But uh, that's what's in that Yeti bag. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and if you found this informational this is some stuff maybe that you want to carry in your boat uh, or you know get yourself one of these Yeti dry bags to carry this stuff. Um, you know, if you liked it or if it was informational, you learned from it, whatever, do me a favor down there, click the like button. And if you're not subscribed yet over here, 
that picture of that truck with that trailer that's in the, the launch, super, super crooked. Yes, I did that on purpose. That's a story for another day. Just click on that. That'll subscribe you to the channel. Um, I appreciate it. My goal with every video is one new subscriber. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead, be my one. And uh, thank you to everybody. Thank you to my current subscribers. And we'll see you next time.